What is a compound microscope? Well, I have a bunch of compound microscopes here, and the key word is compound. What that means is that you have fixed magnification objectives on it. So if you want to change the magnification, you have to rotate down a new objective onto the sample. And the reason why this is important is that once you get up to having higher magnification levels, having the lenses, because each of these objectives has multiple lenses inside of it, having those lenses exactly placed in a fixed spot relative to each other makes it so that you have much higher image clarity and precision and can go to those high magnifications. Compare that with, for example, a stereo microscope that has a little zoom knob on the side, so it's a continuous zoom level. Compound microscopes do not have that. The other thing you'll notice with these compound microscopes is that the, the actual amount of distance, working distance, that you have between the bottom of the objective and the top of your sample is going to be really, really small. So you're typically going to have to have a microscope slide with a cover slip on it, and the sample is this infinitesimally thin cut away that you made and then put it onto these two devices. And this just gets into fundamentally how microscopes operate, that they require incredibly thin sections at the super high magnification. What it really comes down to is that the depth of field, the amount of your sample that's in focus at any given time at high magnifications is going to become smaller and smaller. And so that's why you need this kind of planar thin section on a microscope slide. There are a couple different compound microscopes. There are compound biological microscopes that are optimized for you know biological organisms, cells, tissues, bacteria, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also metallurgical compound microscopes where you're looking at flat sections of rock or minerals that you're, you're examining. Even though the compound part of a compound microscope only really refers to the objectives themselves having a fixed magnification and fixed working distance, Technically, this little kid's toy is a compound microscope, even though functionally it doesn't really perform the same sort of tasks that you can get on a sort of real microscope. Um, so the other things that are typically included in a compound microscope, which are rather important to the operation of them, is a, a highly precise illumination setup. So uh, on this microscope, as an example, there's a light source at the bottom that goes through a condenser lens, which essentially focuses the light at a specific angle onto the sample so that you can get your sample illuminated from all possible angles, which gives you a higher clarity of the sample when looking at higher magnifications. The higher the magnification you go, the more and more sophistication that is required for you to be able to properly image that sample. Hence the fancy illumination. This one even has fancier illumination called cooler illumination, uh, which makes it so that your sample is on a completely perfectly white or black background. There's no like little dust particles that you can see any shadows of dust particles, anything like that. Compound microscopes are the basis for most sophisticated forms of microscopy that go to high magnifications. And by high magnifications, I mean really anything that's above like a hundred times total magnification. And in order to see bacteria and other microorganisms like that, you really are looking at the 100, 200, thousand times magnification range. Hope this video was helpful. Check out our website, microsafari.org, to, to see our offerings. And uh, thanks for watching.